So guys, for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once it's on it, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. We can run it as we do the other steps in this video. So we're just going to minimize this. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and then type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. Once you're on registry editor, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first, we're going to expand HK current user. Then we're going to expand software. Then we're going to scroll down until we find Microsoft. We're going to expand Microsoft. Then we're going to scroll down until we find Windows script right here. We're going to expand this. And then you want to click on the settings folder. Once you're on this, you should have a file that says enabled on it. But if you don't see it, then we're going to right click, click on new, and then click on DWAD 32 bit value. Then we're going to type in enabled. Then we're going to double click on the file and then change the value data to one and click on OK. Once you do all of that for HK current user, next we're going to expand HK classes root. Then we're going to scroll down until we find dot VBS. It might take a while. So here it is dot VBS. Once you find that, we're going to click on the folder. Then we should have a file right here. So we're going to click on the file and then make sure that the value data is set to VBS file. Type it the exact same way how I'm showing on screen and then click on OK. Once you do everything in this video, restart your computer, then the problem should be fixed.